<laughs> Hello, welcome to Friends and Neighbors. I am your host, Sandra O'Neill, and I'm joined here by my fantastic, fabulous friend, Sherry Tatum. I'm actually the host. Yeah, we don't, I'm just a co-host. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't really go no, there. No, we don't like each her. other. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> can you please leave? We love each host. other. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And we love this one sitting yeah, over here. Yeah. And we <laughs> are over here with our special guest co-host, Courtney Curtis. Thank you for Thanks having me. Thanks for being oh, here. Oh, it is such a pleasure. So you guys are. Oh, so as are you inside and out. It. Same with I you. I love it. Everything yes. about you guys. I just such grab beautiful it. hair. Thank you. Say, we were pay? feeling each we other's hair before each other. the yeah. we're like, oh, show. Yeah. So well, we, <laughs> the inspiration <laughs> is mutual. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, Courtney. Yes, it's good you know, to be here. a lot of uh, I want our viewership to get to know you a little bit. Yes. I've known you since you were in middle school, middle school, high school at Isn't church, and I cannot believe that. But yes. you, some people still think I still look like I'm in middle school or high school, but it's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, but it's you'll be so, glad. Uh, yes, you yeah. will. But be it's glad. been so nice to just see your growth, not only um, spiritually, but also as a person. Thank um, you. So, so it's much. been really an honor of mine to watch what God has been doing in your life. So thank you. Thanks for being here. Now you graduated. You've been in broadcasting now for six years. Six years. Tell yeah. us a little bit about where God has led you with your life. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm going to tell you from the time I was able to get anything out of my mouth, I always wanted to do music. Music, 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 music was my heart. Music still is my heart, it is my soul, it's my passion. So I went to uh, school to do music, vocal performance, and then over time, I started to realize, I was like, Lord, I feel like you're, you're churning my heart in a certain direction and I'm not sure, and I talked to my director at the time, Roger Breland, he's, he's a legend yes. in the Christian music world. He was my director in college, and he said, Courtney, communications, and I went, I can major in that. I mean, I was that I was that clueless about really what, what communication, what I could really do with that. And so I that day I changed my major. I got a job very quickly, and then the Lord just propelled me into mm. this business of broadcasting, advocating for people in ways that were really hard at times, mm. and also really rejoiceful times as well too. But I'm taking a taking a turn now. And you're Jesus. back in Atlanta. Yes, you're I'm a back. native. She's now she's a native yeah. Atlantan. Yes, so, it feels so good. <laughs> To be back <laughs> home. I you're know. Home. Yes. You're home. And I'm so happy to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Now, you're going to be with us the entire show. Now, we're going to be talking to an upcoming um, guest, Sue, Sue Duffield, Duffield. Yes. who's going to be talking about her book called Subicutus. Now, this is a travelogue of an unfiltered saint. Yes. Now, I think I'm pretty <laughs> I love it. I unfiltered, love it. and I love it. I cannot yeah, wait I to talk you to love her. Sue. I'm telling oh, you, stay tuned. You're going to love her. Yes, it's going to be so much fun. So, <laughs> Take a moment, whew, yeah, because you're about to receive some awesome humor fun. Yeah. So we will see you right after this break with yeah. Miss Sue Duffield, and we will be having lots of LOLs. Yes. Oh, yeah, she's all in the Did you know that LOL. I thought that LOL meant lots you of love? You this on air. Lots of love. I was like, <laughs> but you're a millennial. millennial. I'm a Generation X she's people. I didn't know. We will be back. But yeah, you know what? We'll Sue is going to school me, because yeah. these girls already know. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she well, welcome back, and I'm telling you, we got Sue here. We do. She's Sue. Gonna, <laughs> she's going to clarify Sue. what LOL means. Yes, yes. <laughs> lots of love to you. Lots of love to you. People are thinking I'm laughing at them. All oh, love. dear Lord. It's all love here on Friends of the Neighbors. <laughs> but now, Sue, I, I wait, I got to tell y'all who she is. She's the singer. She's the writer. She's the humorist. She's the speaker. She writes books. She does everything you can think I of. I love it. And all I wrapped tell up in you, one. when I read all that, I thought, oh, my God. I shouldn't even be uh, interviewing her because I don't know which way to go. <laughs> but we're going to go with the humor, I think. Oh, and with right. your book, yeah. the sub, you can't say it. Subucandus. Subucutius. Subicutus. Subicutus. You can't say it either? Wait, I need a piece of paper. Can I write this? Wait a minute. Let me write this down. <laughs> subicutus. Not Sub ubiquitous, but <laughs> Let me tell you what, my publisher said it would be a disaster for me to do this as a And we have proven it right here. we have proven it right here in Atlanta. But you know what, everybody will remember this book because of the title, Sue. That's right. They'll say, I want that book that's called Samunka, Samunka, whatever, I don't know, whatever it's called. And I want to say this first. I read your testimony of faith. 
of what you believe mm -hmm. and it was awesome and yes. wonderful and your urgency to reach other Christian people right. and it was wonderful and I believe the same way I believe we're in a certain time we better be getting the the gospel out one way or yes. the other right. Sue right. Right? right absolutely so yep. anyway I want you to tell me a little bit about <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all read it okay <laughs> go 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 well it, it, it really does it, it's it's funny because it I never intended seriously to write a book, but mm -hmm. about four years ago, a friend of mine said, you need to put your stuff in a book because mm -hmm. people won't believe half this stuff. But it is absolutely true. I say, I'm, you know, I'm on that new low fat diet. All my fat is now low. So it's awesome. <laughs> we just start, you know, we just go right from there and it just opens up, you know, it just opens up the heart. You know, I- <laughs> I'm on there with you. <laughs> I'm so yes, sorry. Yes, it's a good thing. But um, LOL, which is funny because um, uh, I actually did have a lady who actually yelled from the back of the auditorium when we were talking about, yeah. Sandra, we were talking yes. about what does LOL mean? Yes. Well, one woman, 85 years old, ordained in her denomination, raised her hand and said, loose old ladies. I promise oh you she said, goodness. she really did say that. So <laughs> I can vouch for that. I think I know. I it's just, oh, oh, I don't think ladies, that. I don't you know, know what? Let me just tell you. I want, this is my hero right here. Seriously, Courtney, she is. Oh, well, thank awesome. you. So, you're well. Yeah, you're wonderful. But you're going to be singing for us, too, oh, after I, yeah, I the LOL yeah, yeah, yeah. song. Right, right. Did you write it? I did. I and, did. And why? Because my son said to me 10 years ago, Mom, you need an iPhone. Don't call me anymore. Just text me when you want me. So my adult children basically say, that, millennial. This, yeah. is, this, <laughs> is the millennial right there. this is the only way they communicate. So I, true story, I've, I've getting ready to use my, Courtney, you'll love this. I'm using my phone for the very first time as texting. So I'm going, okay, how do you do it? So I go, hi, honey, I'm flying into Philadelphia on Friday. Pick me up at the airport. I'll take you out to dinner, love mom. Took me an hour and a half to text that. <laughs> Commas right, you know, and the and the punctuation, it's hard, okay. and I'm like, it's um, and hard. then so my son answered me back, like in like one minute. He, I, I was, I, first of all, I was shocked that he responded. <laughs> I'm going hallelujah. I mean, yeah. and then and this is all he said was LOL. That was it. And I, at that time, I didn't know what LOL meant. So, yeah. and I said okay. And then I answered him back. I said, and then he answered me back again with R O F L. And I'm like, oh, for goodness' <laughs> sake. So I Googled. So I answered back. I went R O F L C G U. And he goes question mark. And I said, roll on floor laughing, can't get up. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. oh, so I said, now will you come pick me up at the airport? <laughs> but that's how this whole thing, whole thing started. got started. So but my, my girlfriend and I literally sat up one night and we wrote down three letter words and three letter acronyms that were very popular. And this, this song is actually seven years old, yeah. but it is still relevant. Yes. And it's so funny yeah. and I have more fun with it. So the whole song all the way through are all three letter acronyms or three letter words. I was listening and to not wait. I thought, what? You, well, you know, I don't know. The funny what? part, I can't, somebody said, can you write the words down for, no. no. I don't even, <laughs> because I have to sing it in order to know what in the world I said, so. Isn't that, uh, that is oh, so okay. Well, That's tell me thing. this, I heard you just say this. You said, was it your daughter or your son that said you can't be on Facebook? No, no. Yeah, my, my daughter said, oh, Social mom. media, if you're yeah. out. Oh yeah, she said, mom, don't get all your old friends off of there. We don't want old people on <laughs> no, Facebook. No, no. So, <laughs> The truth of the matter is, and, and, and I'm sure I'm sure Courtney knows that they are uh, the young, the millennials and beyond are leaving Facebook in yes. droves, and they are going more towards Snapchat and Instagram. Yeah. So guess what I did? I just joined. You're Snapchat. like, I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever. I'll, I'll show them. I'll show them. In Jesus' name, I'll show them. Wherever you are, I shall be as well. So I can do it. I can do yes. it. Yes. Right. Oh, I love it. Now, oh now tell me about your travel log because I know you were I, talking about just where God has kind of taken you through your travels. And now you I, you sing a lot. You do women's ministries. Do. Tell yeah. us that story about I, women's ministry. No, no, no. No, 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 no not yet. She's no, in charge. I'm I've not. I've got to ask the question okay. first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is an unfiltered saint? An unfiltered saint. That might saint. be it. That, well, <laughs> Just we just say. made that example right here. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think y'all just na renamed your show, The Unfiltered <laughs> Saints. There you go. <laughs> because my husband says to me, I have no unspoken thought. <laughs> 
and that's what it is. Whatever's up here comes out, and it, the, the scary part is, and I and I sh and I can share this story, and, and if, if it'll be okay with us. Yes. I was singing for about uh, ministering about a hundred women, and a baby on the front row with her mom is screaming and yelling. I mean, she's going, ah, and nobody does anything. We we announced that we had a nursery, but nobody paid attention to that. So finally, 10 minutes in, all of these women, oh, no. they're like, do something, Sue. It, uh, uh. So the, she walks the baby out, and this is what comes out of my unfiltered mouth. I said, you know what? If that was me when I was a kid, my mother would have hauled my <laughs> to the parking lot, except I said the word A double scribble out loud in front of all those women, and they all looked at me like the, the carolers at, you know, at Christmas time. The <laughs> Wow. I, I say the picture of Jesus on the back wall unhinged and oh, started rocking from <laughs> side to side. <laughs> Finally, a teenager yelled her hand. She raised her hand. She said, Miss Sue, Miss Sue, that's okay. Ass is in the Bible. I said, I said, so, I'm dying. And I said, yes, and mine is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so, oh, oh my God. You an unfiltered saint. And let me tell you what happened at the end of that event, though. Okay. As you know, I'm not talking joy. I'm not, I'm talking true, absolute, unadulterated, uninhibited laughter where we laugh and cry yeah, at the same time. That's what I do. And we saw an amazing move of God in that, that back row of young girls that did not want to come because their mothers made them come mm. to the event to hear this old speaker. <laughs> And they're sitting back there, they're crying, they're laughing, they can't believe this. And when I gave the altar call that night, five of those girls sitting on that back row came forward for salvation. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I was praying oh. with them for probably an hour and a half, mm -hmm. watching oh. a miracle happen in front of me mm -hmm. that laughter doeth good like medicine. Yes, yes, it does. And, I, and I say this often, what you laugh about defines you. Yes, yes absolutely. And what you cry about refines you. Mm -hmm. What you pray about assigns you. But here's the best part, what you give to God aligns you with the gospel. So wow. it, and as funny as I want to be, mm -hmm. and as hilarious Larry said I was raised in Jersey, and I'm a typical, how you doing, how you doing, how Jersey? You doing? How you doing? I mean, my household was a mess. I mean, we were, we laughed about everything. We made fun of people. <laughs> we, listened, we had a great old time. It was healthy for <laughs> our souls, you know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but as funny as all that is, I knew that the anointing of God was, it was much more important mm. than just making people laugh. What do you do in the next process? And yes. so, mm. um, I just praise God for well, that's you what I, I saw in, in your testimony that you yeah. wrote about your faith right. and what you believe. And it was just so touching because I'm the same way. I love to laugh, right. but they call me the weeper also. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm either yeah. crying or laughing, that's you know, right. whatever. <laughs> it's all good. That's right. It's all good. It's but right. I, but I also know the importance right. of salvation, right. me, the yeah. salvation message to the world. Yeah. I know yes. that. And so do you. And, right. and right. I admire you for that. And I Thank think you're you. doing a wonderful job. Yeah. But I I want to talk about your book. Okay. How about that? Let's talk about well, Subiquitous. Yes. Let me tell you. She did good. That didn't sounded great. Did good. <laughs> Subiquitous. Yeah. You got it, girl. You did good. Yes, did oh my good. gosh. Yes. 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 Old ladies. Old well, ladies do good. <laughs> yeah. Tell me why. Who is Miss, Mr. Ching or Chen? Oh no, Mei, Mei, Mei Chen. Chen. Mei Chen, Chen was an amazing young woman. I met on the plane from Atlanta on on Korean Airlines. I'm leaving and I'm going to Malaysia. Why? because I'm going to help this wonderful, wonderful girlfriend of mine who saves and protects uh, young girls from trafficking in Malaysia. Mm. Wow. So, you know, what? I'm so grateful yeah. for, and awesome. hey, if we save one, we it doesn't matter. It doesn't you know, matter, yes. I'm not, it's not a mega ministry. It's not one that's well known. In fact, it's very covert. A lot of the stuff I do it is very covert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I made, I made a, a, a little tweet one day on Twitter and said, I challenge atheists to come hear me speak because I guarantee one thing, you will be challenged in your faith. And you know what? I had atheists come to my events. Mm -hmm. And then I give them my book when they show up. If they tell me they don't believe in God, then I say, you know what? Here, I want you to have this book because I promise you, you will be challenged in your whole demeanor and whole your that. faith. That's so wonderful. one girl came up to me, literally. She said, well, I, at the end, she's an atheist. Oh, I loved your music. I loved your, your, um, your comedy and stuff. It was great. It was awesome. She said, but your Jesus thing, you could leave that out. And I put my hand just like this, Sherry. And I said, Sherry, just if you were this girl, I said, Sherry, guess what? Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming, girl. The Jesus who lives in me has your hand right now. And she mm. went, ah! Oh. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? And, she, and so we have kept in contact. This has been almost like two years ago. Yeah. Still emailing back and forth. Mm. She's closer than ever before. 
Wow. So we don't realize what humor in the gospel even does. Mm, yes. Absolutely. And and I mean I was that little bratty kid in Sunday school that made fun of everything and, and you know and, and when I, when they told the story about Eutychus he was listening to Paul preach and he's sitting up in the in the rafters and it's hot and he's bleh, and and it says in scripture that Paul preached and preached and preached. We know that. Yes. He was probably the long longest long winded preacher right. of all. Yes. And Eutychus falls to the ground and he dies. Now I'm seven years old, I'm going, you know, because I've been there. I, I've been in many services where I wanted to die because it went too long. <laughs> yes. like, I mean, it makes total sense, doesn't it? Yes. So we say, you know, uh, you know, he was bored to death or whatever. I don't know. So anyway, that's where that came from. Well, when we take this break in, in a few seconds here, I think this is where Sue sings. Yes. yes. My I, <laughs> yes. I'll do whatever. I'm sure dun, 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 And you know what? You go, do not <laughs> LOL. miss this song, <laughs> LOL, because it is absolutely, I was listening uh, it's, to it. It'll educate what? you. If you yes. don't know what it is, yes. take notes. And, take and, notes, girlfriend. And, and, and <laughs> I did not know there were so many acronyms, what, uh, acronyms. acronyms, acronyms yeah. in yes. the world. Oh, there and, are. And how do you remember this song? I don't, well, That's it's, what I want I, have know. A, I literally do have a memory thing, I, but if I do it to music, I can remember. But oh. don't ask me to sit down Well, and we can't out. wait. Okay. We cannot wait. Wait to hear I your song. It. I love this, and you're gonna love to hear LOL by Sue Duffield. So come on. <laughs> Amen. Sue's going to sing her song, LOL, but first I want to tell you something that uh, Kathy Hawk, she's a very, uh, the New York Times bestseller list of the, of the book, The Wedding Dress, what she said about Sue's book. She said, you got to have this book more than you got to have chocolate. And you know how us women love chocolate. It helps the brain and the heart. So anyway, you're going to love Sue's book, but you're going to love to hear this song, LOL, it's a hoop. So take it away, Sue. L-U-V, G-O-D, C-N-N, and N-B-C, so I S-I-T, and watch T-L-C, and E-A-T, a B-L-T, there's an A-P-B in the U-S-A, truth is surely M-I-A, well that's T-M-I, for those in D-C who need a spiritual E-K-G, S-O-S, no E-S-P, my S-I-N, well, R-I-P, I got the S-O-N, and C-B-N, and F-O-X, and T-B-N, so B-F-F, and S-I-S, this D-A-Y is H-I-S, by F-A-X, or G-P-S, A-O-L, or U-P-S, Yes, it does. LOL. LOL. Live out loud. Live out loud. Live out loud. Cause he's still Lord of Lords. That's right. Well, I'm from the day of JFK, LBJ, and RCA. And it sure is fun to TXT without a PhD from MIT. Well, this KJV or MSG, OMG, I'm the GAL, who's AKA to give her ALL. Jesus, he's my CEO, cause he's my living H2O.
for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Never one time will I ever apologize for laughter because what it does to my soul and my bone marrow, it gets me through. When through the haze of trying days, hope seems gone, just press on. It's worth it all. He hears your call, he will see you through, in spite of all the doubts that fill my mind, kneel in prayer, strength you'll find.
Victoria Migos. L -O -L. Migos. Uh, L -O -L. Migos with the L O L and the F Y I. C N N. And the C oh, and the S U T. W A T C. Oh yes, yes, yes. What other ones do we know? Friends and neighbors. F N N. F N N. F N N. I'm so proud of you guys. As a, I am so proud right yes, now. Yes, we're doing good. Yes, you Generation are. Generation X yes, over are. here, representing. Yes. <laughs> Generation X. <laughs> I'm going to be Generation Z. No media, okay? That's right, girls. Oh, yeah. it has been so fun. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank so you for being here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hanging out with well, hey, I want to hang out with Sue some more. Yeah. Sue. Sue is awesome. Job. What yes. would be awesome? A E A S C A W E S O M E. <laughs> Just spell hey, it out. That's okay. right. Hey, thanks for being with us. Hey, follow us on yeah. Facebook, I'll Instagram, love it. all of that. We mm -hmm. want to be social with you. Yes. And we will see you next time on F and N. Yes. Friends and neighbors. Hello, that well. is okay. Yeah, well, I, 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 I'm not afraid of